Well good morning, welcome to Watch Mike Work and today I got a new project in the shop that I want to share with you. Check it out! This is a 1974, I believe, uh, Mercury 440 snowmobile. Picked it up at a junkyard. Apparently that engine was seized. The motor actually does turn. I had to put a wrench on this uh, clutch here. This actually does turn. You can feel a bit of compression in there. Carburetor. The throttle moves, but the choke is stuck shut. The secondary clutch moves. If I turn this, you can see it actually does turn the track back there. The track is actually in reasonably decent shape too. It's not ripped and falling apart, so that'll be good. It's got, it's a little bit bent on this side. Probably we'll be able to straighten that out a little bit. The skis are all intact. The frame seems to be pretty clean. There's not a whole lot of rust. So anyway, I'm going to start tearing this apart and we're going to try to convert this to electric. So I think I'll start by trying to get this gas tank off. starter. That must have gotten ripped off. This looks like a solenoid. Harness here. This is already in the plug. Spring. Now the tricky one is going to be this one, I got to get to the back of it. So I got this super long extension screwdriver ratchet socket. Alright, so there's that. Next, let's try to get that clutch apart. Not totally sure how to get this off. So I need to turn this back. Really just 
locks the clutch, the secondary clutch. So if I hold that brake, <coughs> nope. <coughs> nope, the brake's not that good. I think you may need a clutch remover tool to do it properly. Um, I believe that there is a wrench that goes around these three prongs on this outer ring. So you put the wrench on that and then you loosen this nut. So I'll have to figure something else out. But for now, I should be able to just pull this belt off and that way I can at least still get the motor out and I'll figure out the clutch later. How do I get this belt off? There we go. There you go. Okay. Rolled off my little platform there. Okay, now the motor's free. Now we're gonna go for these four bolts. Yay! One more good. Okay, so I think it's free. Let's see if we gotta go down straight up to get off the bolts first. Mine feels really kind of rich. It's not something. So that's you know that? Catch on that piece. So I'll just take this brake assembly off. Actually, that might be enough. Might be enough. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so this is all of the combustion engine stuff gas tank, exhaust, motor. If anybody's looking for a Mercury 440, it still turns over. That looks a lot emptier.
one more thing. Rubber wrench for the win. It's hitting the bars, the handlebar. So well, I guess if I loosen these bolts off again and take this bracket down, I should be able to just slide the bars over to the side enough to wiggle this off, I think. Let's try it. Well that about does it for step one, which is to remove the gas engine. We got a lot done on that. We got the gas tank out, we got the exhaust, we got the motor, we got the clutch. Both primary and secondary clutches. So I'll get this thing cleaned up a little bit and go from there.